Hello, fellow mortals. Welcome back to the Forge. Today we're doing something a bit differently for Valholian. It's a bit overdue. I was just, I procrastinated, I don't know why. But I found that the same people who translated the game translated the manual into English. And we are going to read it. Go through it. Hopefully learn a thing or two. Anyways, so here it is. I am going to make myself invisible. And we are going to go through this. So if I hold on, we've all seen the, the cover. Next. Readings. Thank you very much for buying the Val... <laughs> Valholian for Sega Saturn. Sure, I bought it. Please read this manual carefully before playing the game. So I checked, like, eBay a while back for the Japanese, of course, the only, the only version that's available, and it's well over $150. Like, no thanks. So, story, character introductions, basic controls, command window, starting the game, character actions, combining attacks, use of combination attacks, okay, and hints, 23. So that's going to be useful. So, um, just in case you're starting with this, there probably will be spoilers for uh, characters. So character introduction here. Is my cursor showing? It does not look like it. Anyways, so there's probably going to be spoilers. So, you have been warned. So, let's press on. Two countries have been clashing in a war that has bled them dry for several centuries. The Kingdom of Lafalu and the Empire of Balt. The conflict for domination on the continent are Pardina, and the place of the chosen of their deity, Goddess Sanadia, was about to reignite again. Okay. So, like this, they obviously overhauled the entire text. So this looks great, actually. I would love to have this printed. Okay. Characters, introductions. Let us view the characters fighting in this world devoured by war. Ray Brightforce is our main character, the royal. The main character of the game, the prince of Lefalu, who was not gifted with magical power since his birth. However, he is very talented with handling a sword, compensating for his weakness in magic. He's, he's adored by both his people and leech alike for every light and positive temper. Alright. Fiona Fogarty, Thunder Wizard. The Imperial Princess of Balt in War with Lafalu. So, yeah. There is definite spoils in here because you don't find that out until much later on. When she was still a little girl, Fiona got lost in the Black Forest where she met Lilfie Wood, the lone survivor of a long-lost elven clan. She's a gentle and kind girl who can hardly quit or change her attitude due to a strong inner beliefs. Lilfie Wood, she is an elf. An elven girl living in the Black Forest. She is the lone survivor of the massacre which doomed her family. She is very reserved and aloof girl who rarely shines that smile of hers unless she's alone. Her love of Fiona, her love for, for Fiona as a friend is strong due to all the support she's provided over the years. Okay, Emir Brightforce, Black Magic Knight, Ray's elder brother. Comparing to the magic dry Ray, Emir gifted with immense sorcery talents. He always behaves as, his, as it fits the crown prince of Lafalu, but everybody is terrified of his magical power and his ability to hide his thoughts. Lyle Fumahaltz, Fire Magic Knight. Ray's best friend and chaperone. Despite his youth, Lyle was appointed as the Counselor General of the Lafluan Army because of his sharp mind. He's good at seeking He's good at seeking for point pointing out enemies' weaknesses, but sometimes shows weakness by falling for inner emotions. His solemn attitude often compensates for Ray's dashing temper. What does that say? Not for sale, not for sale, okay. Thea Mecca, White Knight. A white knightess responsible for Ray's education and training. She's a calm and stoic person, hardly disappointed by anything. She speaks in a rather unique and self-confident tone. As a real woman, she's proud of her cooking talents, but at the same time, she's also a great fencer and talented with healing spells. Eh. Healing spells? I mean, she's got solace. That's about it. Doug Parma, Lanchnecht. The chief commander of the Baltese Lanchnechts. Heavy assault corps. Doug was appointed to this position by fighting through countless conflicts and battles. There is also a delicate part of his hardened old soldier. He's fond of poetry, he actually hates fighting, but will give the best of his skills for freedom, 
of his land. He's a respected and loved war leader among his soldiers. Eric Apamalt is Lyle's sister, Ice Magic Knight. Lyle's younger sister, currently away for training, Erica holds deep respect for Amir. As for magic skills, she's about equal to Lyle in the art of sorcery or even surpassing him to some extent. Gulf Weeg, Demon Hunter, a high-ranking member of the Valholian Resistance. He's a character of bright nature seemingly never indulged in negative thoughts. Gulf likes cracking jokes about his allies while providing the strongest support as a friend. He has an ability to summon an ancient he has an ability to summon an ancient he calls Gloria, whom he loves a lot as a loyal pet. We haven't used that skill yet. Now we gotta try it. If it's a summon, that'd be cool. Amelia Goldleaf, she's a Viking. Beautiful woman, easily attracted by a good drink, is easily moved by to tears. She commands a pirate ship called Valkyrie Prime. That's an awesome name. She's a bold person who never ashamed to demonstrate her romantic side either. Sieg Pinamar, Lancer, the garrison chief officer from the village of Provi, uh, Provi Young, and Jessica's childhood friend. He provokes an impression of quiet and severe man, but he seems to have a delicate part as well. Jessica Garland, Archer, a member of the garrison station at Provi Village, a remote region under the Valholian protection. She excelled as a member of a hunting and raiding unit. Lightly dressed and light on feet, she's a bright and optimistic character, never losing hope even at the time of failure. Jessica's also a very dedicated person, always focused on her goals. Gerard Balzar, monk, the leader of the Valholian Resistance Militia. He's best suited for his leader role with a serious and confident attitude to life while being a man who cherishes a good joke. Gerard practices a particular fighting style using no weapons but his bare fists instead. Okay, so controls. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Next page. Status displays the current condition of a character you choose. Save. Information, information. Yeah, that's all pretty straightforward. Starting the game. Yeah, we don't. It's all pretty basic. The game. Don't need to change any settings. You can do a ABC start to do a soft reset. Character actions. First, select the character you want to move with the directional buttons X or Z. Next, press the A or C button. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, character actions. Combining attacks. Okay, this is where we want to look. With a combination attack or combo, you can attack an enemy with two characters at the same time. You can basically combine attacks between any of the two characters you have at your disposal. You can initiate a combo by moving a character to a required location and then selecting the wait combo option from the attack submenu. Next, you launch a combination attack by moving a character of your choice to a location where he or she can also attack the same enemy and then starting a combo with the use combo option from the attack submenu. The side you activate your combo from is of high importance in this process. A combination attack may produce various effects depending on the attributes of a magic caster and character participating in that attack. A combination attack depends on defense and resistance values of a specific enemy. Oh yeah, so because if you're doing a weight combo a magic and a physical user, how is the damage going to be applied? Every character in the game has two defensive parameters which are defense and resistance. For example, if an enemy has defense 35 and resistance 35, that means he can be relatively safe from a magic attack of 50. That also means he can only be protected from a strike of 35. Therefore, such an enemy can be easily dropped down with a combination attack. It is also possible to carry out a combination attack by the character who can't use magic. Hence, you can make an effective combo by using a fencer and an axe wielder. A common attack gets more effective in a combo since the, later, since the latter adds a specific element to it when boosting its... When boosting its... its what? Just kind of ended. 
Combination attacks should be planned against specific enemies' attributes. If a magic caster participates in a combo, when the combination attack is delivered by two magic casters, they can add specific attributes to an attack. Each character has an attribute parameter in his or her menu. And by adding an element which counters an enemy's attribute to a combination attack, you can make the attack stronger, such as the effect of lightning against darkness. I wish there were... I hope there's a chart in here. A weakness and resistance chart. Awesome! I think it's right here. Or no, it's just like a combination... Okay, yep, this is our chart right here. I actually... I am going to keep this as a reference for later on. There are following attributes which might change a combination attack. So what I'm going to do is, for those of you who don't want spoilers, actually, you're probably, it's probably too late for that. Never mind, I was just thinking I could, like, cut these out and then just have them on a separate file for everyone to use, but, eh. Anybody who's into this game is, is not really going to have a problem with this game. Okay, there are following attributes which might change a combination attack. Fire and ice is light. Fire and light, fire. Okay. Interesting. Some attributes are also weaker or stronger against others, as it is described below. So fire beats ice. Thunder, darkness. Darkness, light. Light beats fire. Okay, it looks like light is pretty good against most things. You can also dramatically increase damage inflicted upon a specific enemy with a stronger magic, such as fire and ice or light and darkness. There are characters who have no specific attributes at all. None. When such a character takes part in a combination attack, he or she adds no specific attribute to it. Moreover, if you are attacked by an enemy with the all attribute, oof, I haven't seen that yet, I don't, I don't think. The resulting damage can be extremely high unless you are properly protected against all of them. I have not seen an all attribute. That's That's got to be like final boss material. In fact, all the combination attacks are the same as common strike and magic, but with a special attribute attached. The number of experience points you earn for combination attack is split in half between two participating characters, but you can also increase the match level when using the same characters in combos over and over again. The higher the match level is, okay, the higher the match level is, the more damage you deal with combination attacks between these characters. I'm going to have to test that. They might also have some special parameter effects or even prevent counterattacks from your enemies. Okay, so like in your, in your menu, it shows best match this dude. So I'm, I'm going to have to test that. It's going to be difficult though because everyone has different stats. Hints. Save often. This game allows saving uh, practically anywhere and anytime to keep you from frustration. Don't forget that you can view parameters and attributes of your opponents in the same way you do for your own squad. Use that information to your advantage. Don't neglect combination attacks. Some of them shed light on the character's background or even provide neat bonuses when maxed out. How do you... You can max... You can level up your your matches yeah okay so right there in the bottom corner the picture match le level level up okay so <laughs> i have been neglecting a i mean like i haven't needed to use it so how important is it is it just like another layer okay so that's the entire manual all right, so I'm gonna have to do some testing about uh, match level up. I didn't, I didn't know that at all. But like, like I said just a little earlier, like I haven't needed to use these attacks. I've done just fine without them. And like, yeah, this this manual. Like that's the thing with I don't like about manuals is that they spoil too much. Like with the character bios. Like, that's, that's kind of sp that's spoiling every character. Almost every character. And, like, just to get to the, the hints here. Oh, well. Now we have it we have it out there. So I'll definitely put that in the, uh, the title description. 
All right, so I think we'll call it there. Thanks for watching. I really hope this was helpful. And I am going to be making a tips and tricks video along with a full review of the game. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Make sure to, to watch my whole Let's Play, because it's I, th I think it's pretty good quality stuff. And like, is, are there any other Let's Plays of Valholian? I, I haven't seen any yet. All right, take care. Bye now.